This is my video review for the Takara Sanokong, since this is the Sanokong release, King of Braves, Gao Gai Gar, Gadrion, and Gai Ga figure. This is Gadrion in his lion mode, and it has quite a few um, similarities to the Leo Breaker mold, mostly in that it's a big white, well, it's a big lion. The white lion is the Leo Prime version of that. It's a big lion. It has a, a sort of tech, tech organic look, more techy in this case. It's a little bit brickish with more posability in the arms and legs, with the legs having some slightly odd proportions, and they're about the same size with this being just a tad bit bigger. And this, this is really a nice figure. In um, lion mode, the front legs go forward and back, out, and the four legs can go up 90, and there's a bicep swivel. These can also move a little bit if you want, but the, you do expose the hands when you do that. The mouth can also open and close. And the legs here, they can go out, although you'll have to bend these side skirt pieces away if you do that. And it does sort of split the figure, kind of like he's giving birth. So, and it doesn't have quite enough gradient to use, so that's not really usable in lion mode, but it is there. Then he has forward and back, up to that far forward. He has a thigh swivel. And he has a knee joint that can go back, forth, like that. And his ankle has some tilt, and his toes can bend, and the heel. And that's basically it for the Garion mode, the lion mode. It's big, it's chunky, it's fun to mess around with, but it's not... It's got charm, but it's not the most gimmick-loaded thing. It's good in that the figure doesn't suffer for anything, and bad in that it does get a little bit boring. But overall, it's very nice and a very enjoyable figure in this mode. Now transform it, push the main piece down, pull up the lion head, turn it around, 180, and fold it back. <coughs> Lift up. Or turn the waist around. Oh yeah, that's some articulation, I forgot. Pull this out, push the tail in, fold these side skirts in. I mean, this thing has basically modern articulation, just not... Like, this is... could be considered one of the first experiments with modern articulation that's not done with ball joints. Anyway, yeah, this thing gets pretty tall, too. Then you'll bring the arms down, fold up the legs, or the feet, and then lastly, pull up the head. And while not the most show accurate um, version of, of um, Gai Ga, this is a pretty good representation of the character. I think I probably need to explain this now. Um, the lion is its own sentient entity in the show. It's named Garion, or Gao Lion. And then he combines with a um, guy named Guy, who is a cyborg, who is brought back to life. And then when they combine, they tra um, Guy controls Garion, and they turn to humanoid form, and it's called Guy Ga. And this is it. All of the articulation remains. He still has the waist articulation. He has head articulation now. The arms are the same. Actually, I think I'll just pose this guy. That would probably be the best testament to his posability.
than you can. I mean, for having kind of oddly jointed legs, he poses pretty well, stands very nicely, and while while he looks a little bit chunky and not as sleek as the anime appearance, overall, this is a very nice figure, and I like it quite a bit. And that is video review for Garion slash Gaiga. Thank you for watching. I'll be following this up with a review on the Gao machines, how they interact with this guy, and then finally a review of Gao Gai Ga himself. Thanks for watching.